Okay, so welcome to this latest video and today we're going to be having a look at this uh, system software update error on the, P on the PS4. Um, this is an error you may encounter with the system software version 3.0 and that is E-7FB. Um, and basically what this error is relating to is a mismatched board. So previously this console suffered with a 35888-2 error, which we have covered on another video. Uh, I will link that in an annotation uh, just here. So if you want to have a look at that, I uh, have a quick link of that there now. Um, so basically what we're going to do is in order to get around that, um, we need to uh, basically disable the Blu-ray drive temporarily uh, to allow this update to go through. Now this console is currently on software version 1.76. Um, it has been initialized by its owner. Um, and as I say, it's now stuck in this update loop which we found ourselves in here. So if you allow me a second just to go get a screwdriver, we will crack the top of this open and we'll show you how you can get around it. So uh, bear with me guys and I'll see you in a sec. Right, okay, then, ladies and gentlemen, so what you're going to want to do is remove your two warranty seal screws here and here. Uh, remove your two black plastic um, covers here. Move the four Torx, security Torx T9 bits just there. Lift from the rear, push the bottom of the console forward to remove the base. And then along the top of the DVD, well, Blu-ray drive even, little black tab, get hold of that. Depress the little metal clip, literally push it towards the board, disconnect the ribbon. And that's you done. So basically, and then what you're going to want to do is just plug the power cord and HDMI back in. Uh, I fire, back the con fire up the console again, um, as I say, because this has been initialised, it's stuck in the update loop anyway, this is going to try and run the update again automatically, so we're just going to plug this power and, and uh, HDMI back in, and uh, we'll show you just how it goes uh, once we've done this, so uh, bear with me guys, and, uh, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so of course we have disconnected our um, Blu-ray drive um, signal cable now. Uh, and as I say, we made sure we removed any discs and anything before we did that. Not that that's going to matter in this instance. So we've plugged everything back in. I'm going to power this machine up. Now, as I say, if your machine isn't initialized, you are going to want to boot into safe mode and run your update via USB. This one is initialized. Uh, and as I say, it's stuck in an update loop. So... We don't need to copy our update data back to this one. You can probably hear the, uh, the disk drive whirring around a little bit there. Okay, so we're going to go and install the update file now. So yeah, as I say, at the start of the process, you probably hear the drive whirring around a little bit, but don't worry about that, that's normal. So I must make it clear um, that in this instance, um, you probably got this error um, on the back of uh, an existing CE35888-2 error. Um, so unfortunately, this uh, software update isn't going to fix that particular issue. Um, you've still got quite a big problem with that one. Uh, as I say, we have covered that one in another video uh, on this channel, but uh, as I say, you are going to have to live with that uh, unless you fancy the um, the challenge, shall we say, of uh, swapping all those bits so you can find somewhere that's willing to, uh, to accept that challenge for you. Uh, but yeah, as you can see now, our update is going through. So you don't need to completely disassemble the uh, the PlayStation. You don't even need to remove the power supply uh, or the um, signal cable. You literally just need to pop that little white ribbon cable from the top uh, of the drive. And that should be enough to force the update through. So this is going to run now. So we'll catch up in a sec once this has um, got a bit close to the end. 
So update is just about nearing completion now. And the machine, as you can hear, clicks as you will reboot in a sec. So the lights all go out. <coughs> Blue light comes back up. Excuse me there. And we're just going to go and take another look at this monitor. Okay, so we've got a second reboot. Again, you can hear the drive whirring around because, of course, the machine is trying to uh, make contact. Okay, so we've got a further reboot. PlayStation logo. Again, you can still hear the drive wearing around. As I say, this machine this machine had been initialized. Um, so it's just going to go back to the uh, Back to the initial setup menu, but as you can see, we are back into the OS, so we're just going to skip through this. <clears throat> we're not particularly bothered about any of this at the moment. There we go, we're back in. So I'm going to go back into the default user account. We're going to go across into settings, down system, system information, and as you can see there now, we are on system software 3.0, and no more uh, E7FB error message, and we're back into the OS. So, as I say, you are still going to find you've got a 3588-2 error, um, that isn't going to change. Um, so now you can go back in and plug your uh, Blu-ray drive back in. Uh, and then put your screws back in, but unfortunately you are still going to get that problem. You're still not going to be able to play your game discs on it, but at least now you can connect back up to PlayStation Network and uh, continue to download and, uh, and use your downloaded games as um, as you have been doing previously. So uh, I hope that somewhat helps you um, if you're in that boat. As I say, um, thanks for uh, watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe to this channel if uh, you find the content useful. And uh, as I say, guys, I'll see you on the next vid. Ta-ra for now. Bye-bye.